Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am super excited to continue our new series on weighty words. In this short clip, we explore several important equivalences that will allow you to trade one parameter for another in order to accomplish the same goal, but with less trouble. We will apply this concept to three winding defects but the principle is far, far more general. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. So, what is meant by equivalence? It means having equal function. While we start with the dictionary definition, we will apply it in very specific ways to do troubleshooting and web handling. Specifically, we will learn how and when to trade one parameter for another, yet leave a third parameter, the objective function, unchanged. The reason to do this is to accomplish the same thing with less trouble. We will use three winding examples to illustrate this powerful technique. The first is how to increase machine speed without increasing the severity of air entrainment. The second is how we can use time, temperature, or pressure to decrease a tight winding defect called blocking. The third is how we can use either winder tension or winder nip or winder torque or possibly winder speed to decrease any or all of the tight wound roll defects. Note that while these specific examples are taken from winding, the principles are far more general and thus extremely useful to the troubleshooter. However, before we begin with our examples, let us warm up with what might be a familiar bit of science, that is, Boyle's ideal gas law. Stated as an equation, pressure times volume equals a constant times the amount of gas times the amount of pressure. Thus, if we double the pressure in a piston, the volume halves. If we double the temperature, the volume doubles. And if we double the amount of air in a jar, then the temperature doubles, and so on. The examples that follow use exactly the same concept. The only two differences are that the examples here are from web handling, and the second is that the equations for web handling are not quite as simple. Still, we know enough about the relationship between variables for many web and winding defects to do useful and trustworthy troubleshooting and product process design. In this first example, let us suppose that we have a defect called air buckles. We cover that defect in my Web 101 class and elsewhere in great detail, so we don't need to do that here. The boss wants you to speed up the machine and or decrease the frequency or severity of buckles. To do this, we can either increase the nip and or increase the tension. While there are many important details such as how to know if the nip is effectively keeping the air out of the roll, the concept is simple and unshakably sound because it comes from well-studied science. In this next example, we will discuss TTP plus chemistry. This is an extremely important product process design concept that applies to a wide variety of problems. Here, we will apply it specifically to the blocking defect, where layers near the bottom of the roll stick together unacceptably. We cover that defect in great detail in my Web 101 course, 
several books and a YouTube clip on this channel, so we don't need to repeat that details here. What we need to do here is merely show the relationship between the most relevant variables. That is, blocking depends on winding tightness, environmental temperature, and time. The reason we do not put an equal sign between these is that the problem is highly nonlinear, and it is also dependent on certain web surface chemistry properties, such as loosely called tackiness or adhesion. The product process design you, uh, can use this in many ways. If they want to decrease blocking, they can manipulate any one of the four variables, each of different strengths. Similarly, if they know storage temperature might be higher for some customers, they can compensate in any one of three other ways. Of course, there are cost-benefit considerations that will affect which parameter or combination of parameters you should choose for your specific case. Even so, the list of options is determined by physics and thus will be the same list for all situations. Those who have taken my award-winning and trademark Web 101 course will know all about tight winding defects, such as blocking, which we just talked about here, bulk loss, type 1 core crush, and a dozen more. Here, we can use any of four possible winder knobs, singly or in combination, to reduce any of the tight defects. However, Winders are not the only thing that determines inner layer pressure. The web's MD modulus also has at least as strong of a fact as all of the winder knobs put together. Thus, if you wanted to decrease tension to reduce web breaks in the presence of bulk loss, then you would need to compensate by increasing nip. Again, many details will affect which option you choose on the list for your specific case. Even so, the list of options is determined by physics and thus will be the same list for all situations. Those paying close attention and those who have taken my class will note that taper is not even on that list. That's because Taper is not a useful tool for almost all of the defects, including most tight winding defects. Thank you so very much for joining me in this Weighty Words mini-series. Join me next week where we will talk about the much abused and much confused word, Optimum. If you have a topic you would like to hear about, let me know in the comment section below. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. See you next time.